Legends Engineers, my name is Wicked Cernay here from Wicked Gaming. With the release of the Automatons update, a whole host of new options were available to us. More specifically though, four new blocks, the one shown here, allowed us to do something that many of us in the community have been dreaming of for a long time. The ability to create guided missiles without the use of scripts. Now, these are the missiles that I came up with. The main difference between these missiles and other missiles already on the workshop is the fact that unlike launching just one big group of missiles, you can actually launch these individually. Construction is pretty simple. Two event controllers, two timer blocks, a move block, and a target block. The timer is set up so that when you launch the vehicle, it doesn't actually knock into anything as it makes its way to its target. One of the biggest ways is to make a timer delay block. What this essentially does is it allows the missile to clear not only the door for your silo, but also the ship before taking off towards its target. To make it to where you can actually launch these things individually, I used a program block with WIPS block renamer. Essentially, you can put these things into one big giant group and either add a suffix or a prefix, essentially a tag at the beginning or a tag at the end. This way, it makes it easy to set up your missiles so that you have six, seven, or even 20 different missiles that you can simply put on your toolbar and launch individually instead of having all of them launch immediately and run the risk of crashing into each other on their way out. The script is actually pretty useful too. Simply follow the instructions and it's a pretty plug and play kind of thing. Essentially what we're gonna do is create one big group Then we go over to the block group and name it either suffix for an ending or prefix for a beginning tag. You can name it prefix missile one, missile group, missile fire. But for this instance, I'm just gonna call the missile M1. Simply save, go back to your program block and hit run. And as you can see, all the blocks now have the tag on them. You can do this as many times as you want, simply just change the actual group name. Here we have a pretty basic setup of what the inside of a missile bay is gonna look like. The cool thing about this whole thing is that you can simply copy and paste it onto the actual platform. It's conveyor, which means that this missile can actually be used in atmosphere due to it being hydrogen. You simply go to a button, find your launch timer, and set to trigger now. As you can see, the first stage will allow the missile to leave the tube and clear the ship before taking off. The missiles themselves have decent damage, however as you can see, spaced armor, 
defeats them pretty well. That's an issue for having just maybe six missiles on your ship, and then having to manually put them on. But I wanted to make it to where these things would be easily constructible and easily placeable, without having to make a complicated array of missile welders. For this, we're going to use a projector block. As you can see, the base is still there. All you'd have to do is simply make a blueprint of your missile. I'm also going to set up some welders here, just so we can actually show what happens when we need to rebuild the missiles. Now comes the fun part of simply just aligning the projection. Before you fully align the projection, I would suggest going down and putting keep projection, as if you align the projection without having this clicked, projection is not going to be there anymore. Once all said and done, we can go, copy, and paste the missile onto the platform. As you can see, every single time the missile is printed, it's still going to maintain its same functionality. However, one thing that I did realize while trying to build these missiles is that it is kind of annoying to have to sit there and replace the timer block every time you want to launch new missiles, especially every time a new one is built. This can get extremely annoying too, especially if your ship has multiple missiles, like the one behind me that has eight. One quick way I was able to fix this is by simply going into the actual block itself, going to M1 Timer Launch, and creating its own group. Make sure you do this for the missile itself, and then save it to the blueprint. If you do it like I did here, and do it from the menu and not from the blueprint of the block, it's not going to work, as seen here. As you can see, the group disappears and is no longer available. You have to do it from the actual block itself. 
simply go to your missile, go to the blueprint, edit it, and create a group. Then save the blueprint and put it back into the projector block. Don't forget to save your blueprint into the actual projector block. Once that's done, you can launch the missile as many times as you want. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.